Ita knocks down the first free throw. Had an opportunity to win the game at Cal State Northridge. Her three-pointer was just off the mark before regulation. Annalise Ito knocks down the second, two for two. She's got six. Deficit is now one, 23 to 20, 743 to play in the first half. Here's Manisas with the basketball, left side to Benton. Going baseline against Ito, gets cut off in the paint. Backdoor pass for Wilson was too much mustard on it. Back comes Crane to Dekud. Left side to Akilah Martin. Right side, Kara Harewood. Nice ball fake. Kara Harewood throws up a tough shot with the right hand, and she scores, count it, and the foul. It's an awkward-looking shot from Kara Harewood, but either way, she'll take it. Opportunity for her to convert a three-point play. Harewood seen her minutes increase. Her workload has increased. And she's promptly getting rewarded. She has so many things offensively and defensively. She can score the basketball, but she works hard down low in the paint, getting those offensive and defensive rebounds. Six-foot-tall junior converts the three-point play, and it's a two-point lead for UC Riverside. They're on top, 25-23. to 23. It's a game they have to have well, they'll be eliminated from postseason contention. There's Manisas on the right side to Benton. Benton gets a screen from Wilson. Spots up from the left elbow. That shot goes in and out. Heartbreak. And you got four or five Highlanders down there for the defensive rebound. Good team basketball for UC Riverside. They got a two-point lead. Here's a kill of Martin. Martin, a nice bounce pass at the free throw line to Harewood. Harewood with a tough shot. Won't get bailed out by the referee. Crane with the putback, and she scores. Very delicate move by Brittany Crane grabbing the offensive rebound. Highlanders on a 7-0 run. They lead now by four at 27-23. Manisas quiets that run. She bangs a three from the right wing. It's a one-point lead for UC Riverside. A game of runs. That's what they had the last time they played. 27-26, 6.30 to play in the first half. Here's Brittany Crane. Nice ball fake. She spots up from 15 feet. That shot's partially deflected. Looked like by Wilson. And the possession will stay with the Highlanders. Good help defense by Long Beach State against Brittany Crane. Teams aren't great defensively, but they do some pretty decent things. UC Riverside is first in the conference in terms of blocks. Long Beach State is third. Here's Dekud, 14 to go on the shot clock from the right elbow. That shot's a bad brick. And back comes Manises. Manises three on three. Word against Harewood, nice down low pass. It's a bounce pass, she gets it back. Spots up from about 21 feet. It shot's off the mark. Offensive rebound, Sanchez. Sanchez out to Benton for a three. Shot goes off the back end of the rim. Crane fighting for it with Kim. Possession will stay with Long Beach State. That was a good, good rebound by the broadcaster that was sitting at the table, one-hander. Don't know who it was, but... Possession will stay with Long Beach State. Fighting for it was Anna Kim and also Brittany Crane. Six-minute mark here in the first half. Here's Manises. Manises over on the right side. Beautiful help defense by Simone DeCucci. Swats that out of bounds. Almost catches the fan. Possession will stay with Long Beach State. 25 seconds to go on the shot clock. 5.54 to play in the first half. Highlanders lead by one, 27-26. Manises down low pass for Wilson, who was being fronted by Martin. Throws up a shot, nothing but air. And back comes UC Riverside. Good defense down low by the Highlanders. Here's Akila Martin on the left side of Simone Decoud. Decoud to Crane, right side Martin. To Annalise Ito, high low pass movement. Goes to Crane. Crane, right side Harewood. Within range from 19 feet. Watch shot go once, twice, it will not go. Crank trying to get the offensive rebound, somehow finds it, throws it up in the act of shooting, and she'll go to the free throw line for two. Brittany Crane is active on the left wing. That's mostly where she hangs out. But then she hovers around going baseline and cutting through the lane. But she's working the offensive glass. Her shot did not go, but she'll go to the free throw line for two. First free throw attempt is good. She's a 78% free throw shooter on the season. She's looking to add to that right now. She had three, well, so far, three double-doubles this season. Most recently was 
On the 20th, now she grabs her own offensive rebound off the foul. Excuse me, off the free throw line, and she'll go back to the free throw line for two more. Uh, she's going to try to convert an unconventional three-point play, Brittany Crane. And Long Beach State needs to talk things over. 5.21 to play in the game's opening half. UC Riverside is on top in a game they need to have. They lead by two. It's 28-26. to 26. All right, guys, bring it in here. I want to say something to you. Now, there's one thing every team needs. You know what that is? It's not fancy uniforms. It's not equipment. It's a leader, people. Right, coach. I'm not talking about me. I'm not going to be out there holding your hand. I don't like holding hands. They get all clammy on me. Right. So tonight, I want you to do one thing. Before you go out, before you even think of grabbing an ice cold Budweiser, you are going to designate a driver. You are going to group together and you're going to decide who is going to step up, who is going to take charge, who's going to drive this team to victory, helping make sure everyone gets home safely. Because that is the most important thing. And after you do that, people, after that is done, you are going to go out together and make sure tonight is a great one. Now, Great times are waiting when you designate a driver. Say it with me. Somebody. Enjoy responsibly. Budweiser beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Back to the action at the SRC Arena. Brittany Crane knocks down the first and the second free throw. Talk about an unconventional three-point play at work. She misses her second of the first free throws that she got. Grab her own offensive rebound, put bone the two. Back comes Long Beach State Manesis trying to throw a shot up. She gets found in the act of shooting, and she'll go to the free throw line for two. Didn't look like Manesis was trying to actually shoot that basketball. She was looking to pass it. Referees thought otherwise. Either way, though, it would be a bonus situation for Beach. As it's 17 fouls, that foul goes against Akila Martins, her second. As Manesis knocks down the first free throw. Manesis, an excellent free throw shooter. She's second in school history in terms of free throw percentage, 86%. Looking to knock down the second. Nice highlighter kicks that she's got on. She does. It's seven. So 30 to 28. She's got seven points. Here's Crane with the basketball on the left side. Gets trapped. Gets double teamed. Cross court pass to Dakud. And she gets out of the jam. Here's Akilah Martin over the right side to Dakud. Dakud looking for somebody open. Jamila Williams who's coming back into the game. Hands the ball off to Harewood. Harewood going into the lane. Throws up an acrobatic shot. No good. Sawyer comes up with the rebound. Sawyer Benesis, left side, left-handed pass to Kim. Kim to Sanchez. Sanchez not being guarded by anybody. Throws up a shot. It looked like she might have been hacked on the right arm, but neither official saw it. Play side or away from the play. And Brittany Crane got away with that one. Not sure if they'll call that a strip, a block shot, or what. Long Beach State, though, 21 seconds to play on this possession with the shot clock. They're down by two, down low pass to Sanchez, up and under move, and now that foul will be called against Crane. A oh, boomerang effect right there. As Brittany Crane didn't get called for the previous possession on a foul. But working against Sanchez, Sanchez went right into the body, and now it's an opportunity for her to convert these two free throws. Crane's second personal foul of the game. Sanchez knocks down the first. 75% free throw shooter on the season is Sanchez. As a team, Long Beach State doesn't shoot exceptionally well from the charity stripe. And Sanchez knocks down the second. We got a timeout here on the court. We'll see if it's a 30-second timeout. And it looks to be. 30-second timeout. And Sanchez knocks down the second free throw. We're locked up at 30 apiece. An excellent ball game if you're just joining us. Both Long Beach State and UC Riverside missed their first nine of ten shots. It was an ugly start, and then they both started playing some good basketball, and they started heating up. Long Beach State right now, they're being led by Manesis. Kelly Manesis got seven points in the game, but Brittany Crane leading all scores. She's got 15 points, doing it every which way. Offensively, she's working the glass. She's hitting her outside perimeter shots. And then defensively, she's staying pretty responsible, but you have to give credit to UC Riverside as a team. The 49ers aren't getting anything easy so far. 4.37 to play in the game's opening half. If Long Beach State wins, it will not affect them as far as postseason play goes. But UC Riverside, they lose, they're done. Beach trying to apply full court pressure, and they do. 
Dakud gets cut off, and now she hits the deck, and she's called for a travel. That's exactly what head coach Jody Wynn probably drew up at the timeout. That's some great coaching for her. Forces the turnover, and it's an opportunity for Long Beach State to recapture the lead. 4.30 mark to play in the ball game in the first half from the SRC Arena. Left side, Harris Sanchez. Sanchez comes across the court, hands it out to Manises. Manises working against Dakud. Left side to Wilson. Wilson in the lane, up and under move, loses the handle on it, recovers. Left side to Manises. Jump shot from 17 feet, rims in and out and in. Got the shooter's balance, did Manises. She's got nine. Long Beach State's on top, 32 to 30. Four minute mark here in the first half. There's a kill of Martin, and now she's called for a double dribble. Back-to-back -back bat possessions for UC Riverside. Timeout on the court. 3.58 to play in the game's opening half. Long Beach State is on top by a score of 32 to 30. Over 300 student athletes at UC Riverside are competing every year at the highest level of the NC2A and in competition in the classroom as well. Now we need you. Hi, this is Athletics Director Jim Woolridge. Have you joined the Athletics Association yet? Join the organization that helps spread the Highlander spirit in the community and assist in funding student athlete scholarships every year. Become a member of our team for as little as $5 a month. For more information, contact the UC Riverside Athletics Department or visit one of our members on Scholarship Row at the next home game. Thank you and go Highlanders! SRC Arena. It's an exciting ball game between Long Beach State and the host UC Riverside. Islanders and 49ers trading baskets back and forth. Beach is on top by a score of 32 to 30. It's given the statisticians a tough time because Long Beach State didn't have a registered field goal percentage. They've knocked out some shots. Both teams combined to miss their first 9 of 10 shots. And then all of a sudden they started heating up. Long Beach State as a team shooting 42%. UCR at that same mount. Mark. Here's Alex Sanchez over the left side. Left wing corner to Manises. She comes back out now straight away. Manises looking for somebody back door. She did not get it. Over on the right side, here's Wilson. Wilson through traffic outside to Sanchez. And Wilson's called for the travel. So UC Riverside had a travel and a double dribble. Long Beach State with that travel. So back-to-back -back turnovers for each team. Here's Crane on the left side to Simone Dekud. Dekud back to Crane, playing a little two-man game. Crane through traffic, throws up a tough shot, won't go. And at least Ito with the offensive rebound. It's out to Akila Martin. She had a wide open lane to shoot. And at least Ito with a pump fake to Dekud. 21 to go in the shot clock. Here's Akila Martin, left side bounce pass to Crane. Back to Martin. Down low pass to Annalise Ito was batted away by Sawyer. And back comes Sanchez. Here's Alex Sanchez on the right side of Simone Dekud. Alex Sanchez trying to go coast to coast. She throws up a shot, and she's fouled in the act of shooting, and she'll go to the free throw line for two. Looked like a late foul called against Simone Dekud, and now it's trouble time for John Margarides. College basketball, you get five personal fouls per player. Simone Dekud, she's got a whopping three right now for her. Sanchez knocks down the first free throw. I mentioned just before the break that Long Beach State isn't a great free throw shooting team. They're actually dead last in the conference, 67%. But what do you know? Sanchez goes two for two on that one. It's an eight nothing run for Beach. And they're 14 of 14 at the free throw line here in the first half. Being kept alive by that. They're up by four. 15 to go on the shot clock. Here's Dakud. Dakud, nice over the head back pass to Annalise Ito. Try to catch a streaking Martin back door. Goes out of bounds. That's another turnover for UC Riverside. It's her eighth turnover of the first half as Simone Dakud has to come out of the ball game to be a Morrison will check in for her. 
first appearance from Morrison in this game. She scored a couple points the other night against Cal State. Or excuse me, against UC Davis. Here's Anna Kim to Manises. Haley Manises working against Martin. Now switched by Crane on the screen. Here's Sanchez. Sanchez down low pass for Wilson, who was being fronted by Kira Harewood. And she had an easy look at the rim for an easy layup. 36 to 30, 10 nothing run for Beach. 2.20 to play in the game's first half. And runs in the first time they played, Long Beach did. Here's Crane for a three to stop the bleeding. That won't fall. Here's Sanchez. Sanchez, a home run pass for Kim. Kim all by herself with a pump fake, and she'll be called for the travel. She had the right idea working against Crane. Not sure why she didn't go after Crane, though, but we got a timeout on the court. 2.08. To play in the game's opening half, Long Beach State on a 10 0 run and they lead 36 to 30. Over 300 student athletes at UC Riverside are competing every year at the highest level of the NC2A and in competition in the classroom as well. Now we need you. Hi, this is Athletics Director Jim Woolridge. Have you joined the Athletics Association yet? Join the organization that helps spread the Highlander spirit in the community and assist in funding student athlete scholarships every year. Become a member of our team for as little as $5 a month. For more information, contact the UC Riverside Athletics Department or visit one of our members on Scholarship Row at the next home game. Thank you and go Highlanders! Back to the action here at the SRC Arena. Long Beach stays on top by 6, 36 to 30. And Tavia Morrison gets fouled immediately by Anna Kim. And Kim does not like the call. She goes running down to her baseline. Head coach Jody Wynn is pleading to the officials, but to no avail as Morrison will go to the free throw line now for two. Long Beach State already has 10 team fouls, so it's double bonus the rest of the way for UC Riverside. Just 120 seconds to play, though, in the game's first half. Morrison misses the first. Doesn't get that much playing time, so if I told you that her free throw percentage is 20%, I wouldn't want you to look too much into that. But nevertheless, she does miss the first. She hits the second. Two minutes to play in the first half, 36-31 UCR. Here's Sanchez, spot up from three-pointer. Catches nothing but air. Too strong on that shot. Crane with the rebound. Here comes Akilah Martin. Here's Akilah Martin. Nice bounce pass on the left side to Harewood. Harewood looking for somebody open. Ita was down there. She pulls up for a shot. Will not go, but she was fouled before the shot. And she'll go to the free throw line for two. So Kiera Harewood trying to bring the deficit down to three. It's 36-31, Long Beach State is on top. 141 to play in the game's first half. That shot falls down on the first free throw. Everyone's got three. Had a big game last Saturday against Cal State North with 16 points, 10 rebounds. It was her second double-double of the season, and she calmly hits down the second. 36-33, Beach is on top. David Gascon from the SRC Arena. Final home game of the season on senior night for the Highlanders. Here's Clark from the right elbow, and she nails it. Right in the face of Annalise Ito, who put a hand in her face. But Clark with the 16-footer. 38-33, here's Kara here with the left side of Brittany Crane. She's been lighting things up in the first half, 15 points, but she'll need some help. Nice bounce pass for Kara here with the Annalise Ito with a pump, a pump fake. Madison Montgomery partially deflected that. Shot is off the mark, and here comes Sanchez. Sanchez with a little skip in her step. Ends it off to Manises. 60 seconds to play in the first half. Here's Manises directing traffic on the right side. Bounce pass to Sanchez, working against Morrison. Sanchez left side to Clark. Clark again for three. Yes! Ella Clark from downtown. She's got nine points. It's an eight-point lead for Beach, 41 to 33. Here's a killer Martin on the right side to Annalise Ito. Annalise Ito to Kira Harewood. 15 to go on the shot clock. Ito, or excuse me, Harewood looking for somebody open. 
Here's Martin, left side to Ito. Down low pass to Crane, who was by herself. Could be the easiest point she scored all season long. 41-35, shot clock is now off. Final possession should be going to Beach. Here's Manisas looking for something to do. Getting harassed a little bit by Akila Martin. She gets a screen on the right side from Montgomery. Now switch, down low pass from Clark to Montgomery. Loses the handle on it. Here's Kara Hill with two seconds to go. Crane from about half court. That shot's way off the mark. No good. And we go to half. Back and forth we play. Long Beach State was on top early. UC Riverside tied the game. Eventually got the lead. They were up by four. But at the half, Long Beach State has a...